What's up guys, Ankle Spangin here, and today we are playing as Fiora in the top lane versus a, uh, I believe what was a Lulu top. Yeah, it was a Lulu top. So, we will be playing against the supporting top laner that just does nothing other than be generally kind of annoying, but support and really effective still. Oh, hey, glad to hear it, man. Let's rock him. Let's rock him. So, I, I, I wanted to say something encouraging without sounding like too much of a loser. I think I fucked up. I sound like a loser. Um, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. So, Fiora was sounding fun to me. Decided I would uh, wreck some faces with her. This is just a normal team builder game, kind of solo cube myself. Because uh, as you guys probably know, I have no friends. Because uh, I sit on the internet all day. So, I mean, it's whatever, whatever, you know, man, it's whatever. But, uh, um, 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 I am actually really pumped for this game. I've been watching Bloodborne, and it's just making me so amped up to kill shit. And I decided that it would only be fitting if I was chopping stuff up. And I figured, hey, top lane, not a lot of champions do a lot of killing, but Fiora does a lot of killing. So let's bust out the Fiora. As you guys know, or probably don't know, fun fact about my Fiora videos... I have gotten more pentakills on Fiora on video than any other champion. The close second being Pantheon. But, let's see if we can keep up that trend this game. Uh, I'm kind of doubtful with their team, because their team is going to be kind of tough to penta. But, that's not to say it's out of the question either. So we will find out. Uh, since it is a Lulu, I believe... I think... I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll just start with my W for the more AD. Uh, a lot of you guys actually always yell at me when I play Fiora, which is really funny to me. Because everyone's like, no, Ankle, you're doing it wrong about everything I do. Which, I mean, is no surprise. Because that's, that's what everyone says about everything I do. So, I mean, to me, it's just hilarious. But, uh, let's see. So, Lulu's clearly not doing a lot of damage to us just yet. Let's go ahead and pop the W. I thought she was going for an auto-attack there. But let's just go and auto-attack her. And, boop. Because we will win the auto-attack duel. Come here. Come here. Boop. There we go, now we'll reflect an auto-attack there. So, overall, we got a potion taken off of her. Got a good idea of how much damage I'm going to be doing. She does have a little armor on us, so just instantly killing her is not a possibility. Now we have our Q, though, so we do have our sticking potential, but she probably got her E. We'll be able to find out here in just a second. It is a Nocturne jungle, so I do need to worry about early ganks. Those are a possibility. Um... And let's just see. Let's go ahead and just dunk some damage there. And there we go. There goes her shield. What I'm actually doing right now is very intentional. I know it seems weird to uh, be like, oh, I'm intentionally forcing to trade. That what? How the heck did that hit me? But I know it seems weird to say I'm intentionally forcing to trade that looks like it's going to be a loss. But I'm actually doing it um, with reason. The reason being, I want her to get rid of her mana. Uh, I know she doesn't have mana potions, she doesn't have any HP potions left either. And if I can get her to use most of her mana, uh, we should be able to just all enter here actually very soon. Since she has no potions left, and I have Ignite where she doesn't. So it looks like she's actually running after me. Let's go ahead and just jump on her here. Drop the Ignite just like that, get the auto attack, flash, Q, but come on! Come on, yeah, that's gonna be the kill! Dash out, minions, No! Perfect! Perfectly picking up the kill. That will be the end of her life. And let's just see here. So, picking up that quick kill off onto the, uh, the little loot. What the fuck? Guys, don't do this. If you're, if you're teleporting back as a top laner, don't teleport to the minion. You, she just put her teleport on a two minute longer cooldown or some shit like that. Um, just because she decided to teleport to the minion instead of to her tower. So that's really not good for her. Plus she's actually not going to get enough out of it because she can't push fast enough that she's going to be able to make me miss this whole wave. So that's really good for us. And I think... Um... Fuck, I don't know if I want to level my Q first or if I want to level my W first. I think I'll just... I'll try leveling my Q first in this matchup. Because... If I can stick on Lulu a lot harder, it's going to be a lot easier. And I do have Scion coming in from the back right here. So let's go ahead and just jump into her. There's the slow. Let's go ahead and just jump on her. The knockup. This is a free kill coming out. No problem. Using the lunge. Not even going to get excited about that kill. That was just so free. 
because of how hard she pushed up and how uh, just she had no flash from our last exchange. It was just donezo for her. So let's go ahead and auto queue that. We really need to get onto our CSing game, uh, which I should not have any trouble CSing as, um, as Fiora because of her AD steroid. And the fact that I just get so much AD in general. Um, so I'm actually going to kind of freeze it here as much as I can. Because the more I can get Lulu to come to me, the more I can just destroy her. Because obviously I'm 2-0 in this lane now. Lulu is pretty much fucked. Um, for lack of a better word. You know, I should have probably pushed this. Because I can push really fast. And then when it's under a tower, she'll miss a lot. So, mistakes were made. I'm going to go ahead and push this wave. Drop the W right there, because obviously he's going to try and go for an auto attack. And, let's just keep this up. So we do have a buddy here. Let's go ahead and drop the ultimate, so the Terrify doesn't affect us. And come here! Boosh! 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 And that's going to be one kill coming out! You came to the wrong lane, bitch! Come here! Come here! Get gank, get a kill, make the other one run away. Sounds about right for Fiora. So, easy turnarounds there, because I knew I was going to be hitting 6 soon, and I knew that I can just avoid his little fear, and when Lulu used her W, her Whimsy, to speed up Nocturne, that was when I knew it was free, dude. So free! Because then she can't polymorph me, they have no CC to stop me, if they don't use that polymorph on me. So, that was really good for us. Um, another good kill going off there for me... Will put me at 3-0 and oh now, and I can actually go back. Um, I can almost grab my full tie mat. I should just stay for that. I was going to get a Brutalizer, but since she's not building any armor, I'm actually just going to stay, and I'll just grab the tie mat for now. Because that'll help a lot with our wave clear. And also, it's a pretty big damage up. I was going to get Brutalizer, but I've decided to go for, you know, as you can tell, the tie mat instead. Not going to bother using my health potions or anything. Let's just go back here. Um, it is 3-2 to two team score, and we do have all three of those kills. And to be honest, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Because looking at their team, they basically have one hard CC for me. And that is so good for me. Um, I can't even explain to you, now that I'm actually looking at this game a bit more, I can't explain to you guys how great this game is for me. They don't have anyone... That will just utterly shit on me. Um, the closest thing would be Victor. And basically I'm going to be getting a Hex Drinker for the Lulu and the Victor damage combined. Um, <clears throat> and at this rate, he's not even going to be a problem. But think about it. They have one targeted hard CC on me. And that's Lulu's Whimsy. Other than that, Victor's takes time to charge up. Nocturne, he has to get close to me and charge it up. Uh, Blitzcrank, he has to be in my face to knock me up with his E. Like, they have no ways, really, of stopping me. This is such a good game for Fiora. And let me show you guys just what we are capable of doing in a prime setup with this champion. Because Lulu does just... Or not Lulu. Fiora does just absurd amounts of damage if she's left um, in a position to be able to do so. Oh my goodness, even Lulu is trying to support our damage, what we're doing. She's rushing straight for a Morel and Omicon. Which, I mean, I could see that if she's doing well in lane before this, but she still has no additional armor. So, it makes our brutali like our lack of Brutalizer even better. Because now I can sit there and be confident and be like, yeah, I didn't even need the Brutalizer. So... She is not going to be having a good time in this lane. I'm just going to be pushing it under the tower constantly. Uh, if Nocturne comes, I can 1v2. Um, and assuming that... I mean, knowing what I know about Lulu, I know she's going to have a really hard time CSing into the tower. So, it'll be free CSing for me, hard CSing for her. And she's just generally not going to have a good time. So, clear that. Auto this one. Auto that one. And let's see. I can probably... Hey, hey, you stop that. The point of this is get under your tower. Oh, no. All right, so she's actually doing overall a good job. She's going to get, what, five of those? Five of those six, I think? Four or five? So great job on that on her part, actually. I should be a bit more assertive with my dominance, but I do need to be mindful. If I see 
Lulu uh, try and teleport, I have one of two options. I can try and do enough damage to the point where I can shit on her before she gets the entire teleport off. Or I can just take her tower. Either way, um, it'll be really good for me. And since Lulu is clearly behind, um, she won't be as effective as I will be later. And so far, 77 CS uh, compared to her 55. We're doing well there. Victor is actually getting shut down by the rest of my team. So that is very good, too. Let's go ahead and just do a bunch of damage to her here. Look at that. And there goes quite a lot of her HP just like that. Just jumping on her and showing her that, uh, you know, she has no armor. So we can probably do it again. But I don't have wards, and I don't want to dive under Lulu just yet. All right, Nocturne's bottom, so we're good to do that. Let's see here. But boosh And that's going to be the ultimate... And I was trying to make it so I would just sit there and use my ultimate um, about the same time that I thought she would try and use hers to save herself. Because if I can use that at the proper time, I knew it would allow me to um, avoid being knocked up by her wild growth. So that was another just quick solid kill for us. We'll be able to get this tower off of it as well. Um, and actually we're not even going to give Lulu a chance to recall, or not recall, but teleport back up to this to save it. Because it's already dead. So, top lane is pretty fucked. Lulu is so beyond boned. Uh, I can pick up my entire Ravenous right now. So that'll be good. We'll get that. And then I can get uh, Boots. And then I can get another Longsword. And then I'll grab... I have no reason why... Or no idea why I just grabbed another uh, HP Potion. I do not need that whatsoever. But we'll take it anyways. Scion, may I take red? I'm gonna ask him if I can take the red, because if I can, I'll be able to dumpster with it so hard. KKT. I just realized his name is Hextech Revolver. That's really cool. <laughs> so we have Hextech Revolver Overflowing Taco. We just have. We have the whole shebang of people here. So if you guys don't know just little things about uh, Fiora, too, her W does reflect big monster hits, so like Baron, big buffs, uh, big Krug. Just all that kind of stuff. Looks like they're doing a bunch down here in mid. But since I don't have my ultimate right now, I just want to go back to pushing top and getting the CS and keeping up this utter dominance of Lulu. Because um, that's going to be how I not only maintain pressure, but also maintain my own income. Wow, that auto attack canceling. Holy shit. Essentially, I can roam when I have my ultimate. But other than that, I'm not too interested in it. Because I know just how much I can just keep crushing lane. Um, and by, cr like, crushing is a rather general understatement right now. So let's go ahead and just jump over here on this guy. And there goes that ultimate coming out. Boosh, there's one kill. Let's go ahead and just come here. Come here. That's double kill. 1v2. Easy. No problem. Absolutely no issue right there. And like I said, guys, if they want to try and send multiple people at me, they will lose. They will will 100% lose right now, especially if I have my ultimate. So it looks like we got Blitzcrank coming in. I'm backing off because I don't know where Victor is. And the reason I'm backing off, mainly just because I don't have my ultimate now. Um, and I know that without any MR, Victor can shred me. So that's the one thing I'm being careful for right now. Um, other than that, no fear. No fear whatsoever. So let's go ahead and see if we can go... May, you know what? I might be feeling double Brutalizer items. That sounds kind of fun. But let's see. It looks like their blue is up, too. So I'm going to be taking this because, you know, I want it. I want it. And it looks like no one else is coming to try and stop me. So, boop, boop. free blue for me. Now I have double buffs up. And let's see. All right, I'm charging towards mid. Here I come. Scion is in the back, and it looks like he does not have his ultimate. But here he is, and it looks like the Mystical Journey is coming through. Lulu teleport coming in from the behind, but little does she know she will be met by a Fiora, and let's see the silent ultimate coming in, the unstoppable, oh, you son of a bitch, alright, you know what, you know, I've had enough of you, Blitzcrank, had enough of your shit, son, come here, come here, boosh, boosh, and nice flash, and hi yeah, hi yeah, <laughs> get him with the ravenous Hydra kill, not even gonna use my own flash, let's go ahead and see here, 7-0 and 0 so far, Yet the game is still 11 to 9. So, like I said, guys, this game isn't over yet. 
Uh, wait, did I even say that this game? Well, this game's not over yet. I'm saying it now. Um, but we are in a, um, I would say a decently okay spot. So 60 CS up on Lulu almost at 15 minutes. That's a pretty good amount to be up on your opponents at uh, 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and just kill this wave. And one thing I'm lacking right now is attack speed. But I'm not sure I'm really going to be going. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be itemizing for attack speed either. So let's go ahead and go back here. I think I'm going to get... What am I feeling? Oh, Scion! <laughs> oh, that freaking passive. Holy shit. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this. And that puts me at 25% with the blue. You know, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. You guys may call me crazy, but I'm feeling it. Because after I get both of my Brutalizer items, I'll have 40% CDR. So we'll be going for that. Um, because, you know, I'm a gangster. And then we'll probably go for Last Whisper and Bloodthirster. So that'll, that'll probably be my entire build right there, to be honest. Uh, and let's just grab the Avarice Blade now then. Wait, why did I grab another one of those? Get the Pink Ward, you silly goose. So let's see, 30% CDR. My ultimate's on 84 second cooldown. Uh, not bad. We do have some armor pin now with the Brutalizer. And let's see, my Q 5 second cooldown, my W is a 5 second cooldown, my E is only a 10, which obviously it gets reduced, um, the cooldown gets reduced on champion kills or assists, if you guys did not know that about Fiora. Uh, I think it's half on an assist, like half the cooldown, and then the full cooldown if you get the kill. So that's how that works there. Uh, 12 to 11 are Swain 1 and 5, but it is still Swain, so I'm not too concerned for him. And now we have our W max level, so we are gaining the most AD we can get out of it. And I probably need to group with my team. Because they're getting to the point where they can't necessarily perfectly fight without me. Wait, maybe? Maybe Jinx? Never mind! Super Mega Death Rocket coming out! They totally got this no problem without me. 4v4 and they go for 1 for 2 in that exchange. So great job on their parts. Uh, let's go ahead. And, I want to drop my pink right here. That's a good place to have my pink. So let's see. If Lulu comes off of the tower, she's dead. She has nothing but her Morello. She's dead if she goes off the tower. And I do see Blitzcrank coming towards me. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. There's her ward. So I think that means she can see me. Oh. Haha! -ha! It seems the shoe is on the other foot, so let's go ahead and- Oh! She just got Squirrel Blade Waltz, and that will be another kill going off onto Lulu, no problem. The patience will always be the victor. So another kill, easy peasy, and boop- Oh shoot, I missed the Siege Minion, I hate everything. And I should- Yep, I can get my full Yomus now, so I will be going to do that. Um, I personally like Yomus on Fiora, because it does give- a lot of early game damage with all the um, armor pen that it gives you and also the active on it's pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and just get that right now we can pop that and we can go ham uh, during our auto attacking place and then oh our jinx is apparently the superior jinx in this 1v1 and we'll be taking it down bard taking a magical journey over on the other side of summoners rift so here I am coming for the bread it looks like blitzcrank over there I'm not really too worried about him getting that tower, of course. So, just gonna take that real fast. And let's see. I do kind of want to start team fighting because with uh, with the two items I have, I am massive. Uh, and if I can get my Brutalizer before our next team fight, actually, I will be... Ooh, I'll be CDR capped and I'll have even more armor pen and it's just going to be raunchy. Okay, it is going to be raunchy, but let's get up here and see if we can uh, dunk on this Lulu a tiny bit more. So my CS has partially fallen off just slightly. Um, I mean, it's not a huge deal. It's a bit of a shame, but it's not you know this huge issue by any means to have 170 at 19 minutes. It's like, it's not like that's bad. Um, but it could be higher had I been staying in lane the whole time. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta say, you gotta say it like it is. But let's see here. Lulu, my pink. You're a slut. Um, let's see. Can I get in here before the minions see me? Yes, I can. So I am here now. And you know what happens to the bitches that take my freaking pinks? Alright, you guys watching this? You guys watching this? 
when she comes up just a tiny bit more, I am going ham. All right, come here. Come on. Come on. You know you want these minions. You know you want them. <laughs> Look at this damage! There's the wild growth coming out. Going to drop the blade waltz, and that's going to be another kill. Picking it up, saying, fuck you, that's my blue. Oh, Victor, you want some too, muchacho? Come on. Come on, muchacho. Come on, bro, chache. So let's see. There's his power transfer complete. Let's go ahead and lifesteal up just a tiny bit here. Looks like Blitzcrank coming in. I'm just going to go ahead and drop the W. All right, right here. Dash out. Get into this. And let's see. It looks like we got Scion coming in. Drop that. Flash onto him. Get the E. Come on. No! That is exactly what I was afraid of. Victor being just strong enough to kill us. Uh, we only got hit by one laser that whole time. <laughs> And that was the one that killed us. But since they had so many people up top trying to take care of me, almost picking up the kill on Victor, too. Um, we were actually able to get two people down in mid just for that exchange. Because, like I said, Victor is going to be the source of most of their power. Uh, and I think after this, I will probably replace um, the Bloodthirster in my build for a Hex Drinker. Because that should give me just the MR that I need to handle Victor's damage overall. And of course, they'll go into a, Mal or a Maw of Malmordius later. But for now, we do have our second Brutalizer. We have the full CDR. We have everything. I don't think Scion needed to flash that. Because Lulu is very, very weak right now. Um, and I mean, other than that, it was just Blitzcrank. But who knows? Maybe I was wrong. He could have died there. Let's go ahead and see... Alright, the minions will not push the tower fast enough. I can do the Krugs really quick. So let's go ahead and take those. I think, had I played that a little better up top, I probably could have gotten a kill off on Victor. And then after that, I'd... I'm not sure if Blitzcrank would have been able to 1v1 me with my lifesteal. Um, so that... Eh, that was iffy. But it's okay. It is A-OK. -okay. So nothing to worry about. My ultimate is on a 72 second cooldown. I can use it almost once per minute. And I am level 15 compared to the highest level on their team being 13. So, not only do I have all this money from, you know, money, I have effectively a lot of gold from stats as well. Uh, and it looks like... What are you doing? What are you doing? I bet I can 1v2 them as long as I play it properly. If I play it properly, all right, let's go ahead and drop this. Er, dropping the blade wall, it's right there. There's going to be one kill. Let's do ahead and just, oh, damn it, I got stuck in the Gravitron. But still picking up one kill there. Uh, I think had I not got stuck in that Gravitron, that I would have killed Victor as well. But the Blitzcrank Ignite did stop a lot of my lifesteal too. Um, so that, I mean, that happens. Blitz, no ig. So we can mention that just in case the teammates need to know it. And let's see. So, pretty close to the Black Cleaver already. Uh, only f about 500, a bit over 500 gold off. And I think I'm going to buy Home Yards on this back as well. Because um, I would like to do this. Yeah, if they, if they want to go for that, that's fine by me. They'll lose. Because I can pretty much 100% take out people with me. And then my team should be strong enough to clean up the rest of it. So, I mean, if we group... Actually, at this point, grouping would be the best choice. Uh, if we group and I don't suicide, like, that's free. They probably... They they definitely need to send at least three people up top to stop me. Because um, if Victor comes up... Actually, now that he has an hourglass, it might be a little more rough. Um, but maybe... Maybe, um, not maybe. I'm just going to focus the other people unless I see, like, a good opportunity or I feel like I'm able to burst them fast enough. So level 3 ultimate now, 66 second cooldown, doing 385 plus 182 physical damage on the first bop. So, as long as I sit here and, um, well, essentially don't get myself caught out, it will be very easy. So, go ahead and ward that. Looks like that ward is going to be going down. Scion looking for more. And let's see. Basically, though, if I stay uh, with my team, they can't just lock me down and CC me to death. So, let's see. Let's see. Where's the victor? Where is he? Where is that victor? All right. Oh, 
There's the Blitzcrank. Here I come, waiting for the abilities. All right, knocked in from over the wall. Looks like, let's see it here. Here I go. Dropping the ultimate right here, maybe. Boosh, that's going to be one kill going down right there. And I am locked up, but let's see. Boosh, come on. Bonk, get him with the Ravenous. And there's his Zonias. Come here. Come on, come on. Is it life steal? No. <laughs> ah, he had his flash still. Rip me, dude. Rip that flash. So, wait, was Jinx not even in that fight? All right. Well, still a two for two, and we're going to get a turret out of it. So that's actually really worth it for us. And that turret, I think, will give me enough for my... No, it won't. I was totally wrong. I, I apologize. I was so wrong. And this time now, I'll have my flash to get onto the priority targets instead of the bard ultimate actually locking up the target I was trying to ult. Um, that was actually a little awkward, in a sense, just because of how it happened. Uh, and you know what? You guys know what? I think I might just say fuck it. You know what I mean? I might just say fuck it and not go for a hex drinker. We'll see how I'm feeling. We'll see what's necessary and we'll see how I'm feeling. Uh, the dragon is up. I do have my flash ult. I do have everything. Um, now I'm going to tell you guys the plan. The plan will be to not get greedy. And that's going to be tough for me. Um... Because for me to not get greedy means I have to not go hard for the victor. Unless I see an opportunity like this. I know he's... I know he knows. <laughs> so let's see. Jinx is over here. And it's looking like Jinx could be my free target. So I'm going to drop my ward right there. And let's go ahead and just... Um, maybe. Maybe? Alright, I can stave them off. So we made Death Rock coming out. Not going to be much of a steal there. So they definitely know I'm here. But... That doesn't really matter that much to me, so let's see. Should I go in? I should not. I want to, but I shouldn't. Um, I think I'm just going to clear out this wave mid. Then rush top real fast to get the um, the wave up there, because there is a decently sized minion wave if Lulu teleports up to it uh, to try and take my tower. I'm already on the way, and it's no problem. And if she doesn't, well, then I just get a bunch of free money, and I can go back and get my black cleaver, which does do a lot more damage with my ultimate as I stack it up and wreck people. So I actually thought I was in range to use my uh, my Q, so I kind of ravenous a little early, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. Go ahead and auto Q, auto tr 3, and let's see. Back here, 230 CS. Closest to us would be the Victor at 200. So, as I've said a billion times before, Victor's the problem. I could even go for something like a, um, a Banshee's this game, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. For now, let's just grab a Longsword, because this is versatile. This Longsword can either go into Bloodthirster, it can go into Last Whisper, it can go into Maw. Um, it can go into a lot of things. So for now, we'll just leave it as a Longsword and go in with the damage that we have. Because right now, I am just, I am horrifying. Um, as a character, I am just terrifying. All right, and I, I should not be stealing the CS from Swain. I apologize, Swain. So let's see, is there red up? I think someone was going for it. Oh, it's looking like Nocturne could be in a bit of a pickle. Now let's see, Victor's right there. The red is not up. The turret going down. Let's sit right here. And let's see, can we get them? That is a good question. So let's see, it looks like Scion kind of walking in. It will not find much of anything. But let's see. Man, I have to do a lot of damage really fast if I want to have any chance of bursting Victor before he uh, Zonias. So I'm not sure that's going to be a possibility. But it is something to also consider. Clearly, I'm... Pr okay. Clearly, they weren't coming towards that bush for a while. Um, and I don't blame them, because... Whoa! That was kind of an interesting Bard ultimate, but Scion looking like he's going in. All right, team, it's looking like it's our time. Let's go ahead and ult on the Lulu right here. That's going to be one kill. What the heck? How did I get all the way over here? And shit. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm. How did I get over there in that part? Okay, whatever. So this is... Ooh. Zonia's coming out, but I don't think it's going to matter. Yep. See, they're killing the Fiora, but the rest of my team is just doing so well of cleaning it up after I've done my AoE damage. They've blown a lot of things on me to stop me from going on just a horrible, destructive rampage. 
And it gives my teammates like Swain and Jinx the potential to just sit there in the back and destroy them. So, they're getting utterly wrecked by um, just the fact that I'm so huge. Um, like, there's two things. One, I'm huge, so I attract a lot of attention. Two, um, I just do so much AoE damage. Regardless of how much they shut me down and kill me, it doesn't... Okay, so, guys, okay. Well, if you're going to die anyways, they should, probably should have at least gotten the turret. Um, maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get the Hex Drinker, just for the shield. Because uh, it'll still give us a decent amount of AD. And maybe I can fight Victor with it. Um, we'll see though. We'll see. I think. I think I should try and kill Jinx. Like I think I should just try and wreck her, instantly if I can, because she doesn't really have any way to stop me. In or aside from Lulu's ultimate, and if Lulu ain't there, I mean she can't really be stopping me, right? Am I right? So let's see, Jinx is backing, they're totally coming towards me, I don't, I don't want, so we should probably, we should focus something around Baron here, cause, in my opinion we probably should have forced something a little sooner even, so let's go ahead and just dunk up in here a little bit, and I don't really want to get hooked, so I'm just gonna take this out, Scion looking like he's gonna get stunned up a bit, but I got the Rift Scuttler, so that'll be going down there, I'm gonna come over here and grab this red, and see if maybe, see right there she has no defensive items so this is like the exact thing that Fiora gets gigantic boners over you see this little squishy AD carry you see that she has no defensive items and you see that she is just begging to have my sword shoved so far up her urethra then that's inappropriate so let's see Nocturne right there we can 1v1 him too so it's looking like he's just going to run in there with the sweeper, but not find anything. I am not spotted yet, to my knowledge. All right, Jinx has gone mid, so I hate everything. Back to putting the pressure up top. Victor is bottom. I am not scared of anything. In all honesty. Uh, without Victor, I don't feel like I'm going to get killed by them. Unless they literally send the entire rest of their team, I, I'm not very scared of the rest of them. So level 18 has been achieved here. And let's see what we can do about this. If I can find anything. All right, Victor has blue, so that means it's not going to be up. Jinx backing right there. Dragon's up. So I'm not going to be able to get to her in time. There's no way. Um, so let's see. Dragon's up. Let's go ahead and grab the dragon. Because without Jinx here, that's pretty free. So I'll clear out this wave just to have it pushing. Um, let's see. Let's see. What can I do? Lulu could teleport in, but I don't know if she's going to. So let's just go ahead and... So jump in here with the ultimate. Do as much damage as we can right there. Look at that damage. Get onto this guy. Come here. That's going to be almost... Almost? No! Almost getting all three of them, but getting their jungler and their AD carry. So, one for almost three destroying them absolutely destroying them and getting victor zonias in the process so for this next fight that my team will probably be trying to have he will not have his little safety guard there so lulu is definitely caught out she is definitely going to die here inevitably there's the roar of the slayer we'll be picking it up and it looks like scion is tanking but he does not need too much longer so let's see here we'll probably get the tower here if jinx can Never mind, looks like they are not going to be going for that. They, I would say we could go for Baron, but I don't think that's a safe bet. Um, do they have armor? Some of them have some armor, so maybe... Uh, okay. You know what, I'm just going to get the Maw, because um, I can't really afford my full ass Whisper yet. I'm a couple hundred gold off, even if I sold my, uh, my Doran's Blade. So I decided it would just be better to grab the full Maw. Because, actually, that does reset the shield that I get from the Hex Drinker passive. Um, it also gives us more AD as our HP goes down. It also gives us more MR, uh, a lot more damage, and just, just in general gives us a lot of good stuff. So, let's see. Oh, hello! It looks like we have found this guy again! It looks like he's using the Challenging Smite. Is he going to challenge us? Let's go ahead and see. Come here! 
Hey, come on. All right, you guys, you guys aren't okay. Really, come on, man. You guys aren't going to be fighting me. Let's go ahead and drop the ultimate here. Blade waltzing all over them. That's going to be one kill. And whoosh, that's going to be two kills. And that will be the double kill coming out. Looking like the stun going down. And there's his gravity field. I don't have a lot of mana, so I can't just go destroy Victor. Plus, not that I'm scared of dying. I just know I don't feel like I'm going to kill him. So there's two more kills coming out right there. And you know what? I'm feeling bloodthirsty. Yeah, I mean bloodthirsty for this tower. So we'll get the tower, we'll get the inhibitor, and we can rotate right down here and finish off this whatever's left of this inhibitor, uh, which apparently was just a visual glitch. So easy two inhibitors just like that. Doing some damage to me, I'm just going to lifesteal it back up. Uh, and that could be game. Could be. But let's see, my ultimate's back up in 20 seconds. 15 sec till alt. I always say 15 because that's about how long it takes me to type shit like that. So we can go grab the... Baron off of this and if actually if someone comes in a bad location ace I will murder them As my ultimate's back up and let's see here. So this is none of this is warded So that's really good. I'll totally jack that. Hello Jinx So let's see Jinx is over there alone on this side. Oof. Oof. All right, do they know? Oh, they totally knew. And it looks like the Unstoppable Onslaught coming in. And that's going to be a very dead Lulu coming out <clears throat> in exchange of no cooldown. So this is a free Baron. We should pick it up, like, right now. And then then we can just group top and take it out, you know, close it out methodically and easily. Maybe it's looking like Swain could be in a finicky spot. All right, the Zonias are both coming out. Let's get into this fight. There's the Blade Walls coming out. There's one kill. And get two kills coming out. Boosh! That's going to be it right there. The Swain... Oh, the Snare. Nice. Bonk. Picking up that kill. And now... Oh, blue. I want this blue. I want it. I want it. Thank you, Swain. So... Ugh! Okay, good. We got it. So now we can do this... Or we can do this Baron really easily. I can go get my last Whisper. Go be a full build Fiora. And that is not something that anyone wants on their plate right now. So, boop. Easy there. Looks like Nocturne is... I mean, he's taking a tower. Good for him. But he's kind of losing his base. So, I mean, if it's a if it's a fair trade in his mind, by all means, go for it. But if it were me, I would, I would honestly feel like the spaghetti is just spilling out of my pockets right now. So, 542 AD right now. 542 AD. 40% CDR. 42 flat armor pen and 39% penetration. These guys are fucking, like, ants under my giant's fucking, like, I don't know. I'm going to call it my thumb. Because, I mean, I don't really crush ants with other things. I, I, I either use my foot or my shoe or my, or my thumb. So come here. Just boink, boink, boink. So that'll be the end of that. Maybe if they, oof. If they go ham after me, I will turn it so fast on their heads and I will crush them. Especially you, Miss Jinx, who still has no defensive item. Hone, hone, hone. And, ooh, your red is up. AKA, my red is up. So, go ahead and take that real fast. I do not see a victor, so here I go. Blade Waltz and going! Oh, Blade Waltz not going out. Ooh, there's the Blade Waltz right there! And boosh! Come on, no! Alright, two kills coming down. It looks like Jinx is definitely going to be fucked here. So we made Death Rock coming out. Our Jinx is chilling in the back, and it looks like the Gravitron field. I cannot see what's going on, team! So it looks like there was a flash out there, and Nocturne is just going ham for Swain. We'll get him, but we'll die in the process. So there is two left, and Jinx is one of those two left, and Scion the other tank. That will inevitably be the end of the game. Going in, just going so ham that game all the time will be the end of it. Jinx actually taking a lot of damage there, but will not go down. The Nexus will go down. So, great job by my team following up with my uh, ridiculously ham plays. I'm glad they had enough sandwich for my ham. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the stats here real fast. So, it looks like... Oh, I'm, su I'm sure you guys like my background. But, look at that. 18.3k gold, 300 CS, or 305 CS. I kind of fell off towards the end, um, but still pretty good. Uh, here's all the full builds of everyone. Nothing too out of the ordinary that I see, really. So let's look at the damage real fast. Uh, Victor, only 10k behind me-ish, so he did a pretty good job keeping up there. 
Uh, our Jinx was slightly lower on the damage. Um, Scion and Swain very high up there, though, so good job on their parts. Other than that, just a pretty good game all around. 39 minutes, just a uh, great, great, great game all around. If you guys enjoyed this video, though, make sure you give a like and favorite us me out. If you want to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, my second channel, for links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. It'll be a wonderful day. Peace!